you was on your way to McDonald's trying to get something to eat and your car overheated. You stopped and figured out that you don't have any water in it. You don't have any coolant. What do you do? Do you take it to the shop and pay somebody like me hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars to figure out and fix whatever the problem is? Or do you try to do it yourself? I'm going to show you exactly how to do it yourself, the cheapest, fastest, easiest way I know, what you're going to need and how to do it. So stick with me because I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button because if you don't, you're going to miss out on big time information that I'm giving you for free that most shops would charge you lots of money for. So hit that subscribe button for me where you can stay up to date with all my new stuff. So let's get right into this. The number one thing you're going to need, the bulk of your cost to be able to diagnose coolant system issues, coolant system leaks, is going to be a cooling system pressure tester. You can see I have here. I personally have a snap-on because I like blowing my money on expensive things, but you can get one that does the exact same thing as this for a lot less money. I'll put one down in the description that'll do just as good as this one. So that's the number one thing you're gonna need. And you also wanna check and make sure, I'll try to put one down there that has all the, like a ton of fittings, but some of them like this only come with like two or three of the fittings. Like this is a Ford one, which is what I do primarily. But uh, these are like old style radiator caps. But yours, if you have something foreign, you might have a different, like a crazy cap. So you might need to check on that and make sure you have the right adapter. But this is the number one thing. It's going to cost you a little bit of money. But once you diagnose your car, you're going to have this. You're going to be able to diagnose all your cars in the future, your friends' cars, your family's cars. You might not want to buy this because you're going to do a lot more work. But... This is essential for figuring one out. There's no way to get around it. You need to put pressure to the system to figure out what's going on. The second thing, and this is something that I've started using recently, and I love it. Like It's the best thing ever for coolant system problems. It's helped me find super small, minute leaks that I might would have missed if I didn't have this. And this is Auto Pro Cooling System UV Dye. You can pick it up online. I'll put a link in the description. You could probably even find it at your local parts store, O'Reilly's, Advance, something like that. This stuff is great. And I'm gonna do a little science demonstration, science demonstration on this stuff here in just a minute. I'm gonna show y'all how it works, like how it reacts with the water and what it looks like. I'm hoping it's gonna come out pretty good on camera, but we're gonna see. This stuff is awesome. And a bonus about this stuff, the reason I really like it so much is because you can put it in your car. It doesn't hurt anything. It just current, it just like a dye, you know, it's just like food dye, like you put dye in food and it doesn't hurt the taste or, or you. You can put this in your car even when you don't have a leak. That way, if you're parking on your driveway or in your yard, you're gonna see this stuff way faster than you will see actual water or coolant coming out of your car. This stuff, when you back up, it's gonna light up. Like if, especially if it's at night and your headlights hits it, it's gonna light up super, super neon green. So I love this stuff, it's inexpensive. I think it's like 10 bucks. I mean, I'd buy a hundred of them, but I get it. So this cooling system pressure tester, I don't really feel like I need to show y'all how to operate it, but you know, I might just go and I might need to. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever fitting is applicable to you. You're gonna screw it on your degas bottle, which is a coolant reservoir, or your radiator, if you have a radiator cap. You're gonna screw this on real tight, and then you're going to screw your pressure tester here to it, lock it down, and you're locked on. So once you're locked on, all you have to do is pump it up. And the best way to figure out how much to pump it up to is to look on your cap. Most of them have a max PSI on it. Most of them are around 15, 16 PSI. Some of the newer ones are going up to 20 or 21 PSI. But that's just something that you should check on your cap. If it's not on your cap, I would look online, maybe for your particular make and model to see what kind of pressure yours it's supposed to go to because you know you don't want to <laughs> if you go up too high you might create a leak that wasn't there you might create more leaks so what we've got here is some real nice alabama tap water that's what keeps me good and hydrated so what we're going to do here is i got maybe half a gallon of water here i'm going to put a very very small amount out of this bottle maybe like four or five drops in here as you can see there's a lot more than four or five drops in this bottle but I just want to show you how powerful and strong this stuff is. So let's go ahead and put a couple drops in here. There's one good size drop. 
and I don't know if you can see that, but automatically, look at that. So if we simulated you running your car for a little bit, you cranked it up and ran it for a little while, you mix this stuff up real good. Look at the color of that water. It's... So you can see that there is really bright. You're gonna see that if you, know, you have a leak, it's getting on your driveway, as soon as you pop your hood, that's gonna catch your eye as opposed to just you know a little bit of water here or there. So what I wanna show you, if you didn't notice earlier, this stuff is actually called UV dye. And for those of you out there who don't know what UV is, that is uh, what that's telling me. I actually think UV's got something to do with the sun. I don't really know, but what that's telling you is it, it shows up under a black light. So what I've got here is another expensive purchase I made because I like to blow money on Snap-on tools. I have a black light. So we're gonna shine this black light in here and I'm going to try to show you over these glasses here, over the camera, how this looks. I don't know if it's gonna really work all that well. I don't know if that, eh, don't really sh show up near as good as it does for me. But as you can see, it's definitely brightened a lot by the UV light. <clears throat> so if you're not convinced already that this stuff is going to find your coolant leak for you. I really don't know what to tell you. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Go ahead and tap it, hit it, smash it, whatever you got to do to give me my like. If you haven't already subscribed, then I really don't know what to do at this point. And I'm giving you guys free information here. So hit the subscribe button where you can fix your car. I mean, come on. So this was a real short one, but I feel like I gave you what you need to diagnose your coolant leak. So, you know, you're welcome for that. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.